esports is defined as organized competitive um, video gaming. It's not in your bedroom on your own late at night playing against the computer, not interacting with anybody. It's team versus team most of the time, human versus human all the time. So it's always human versus human competition. OK, it can be held online at, at LAN events or also at live spectator events. And it's usually for a cash prize. So it's played by both amateurs and professionals and it's age neutral, it's gender neutral, it's able bodied, disabled, uh, neutral in a way that a lot of traditional activities and, and team events simply cannot be. Now, they're played on PC, played on console and then on mobile as well. And in certain parts of the world, certainly Southeast Asia, mobile gaming. Uh, mobile esports games and titles are hugely, hugely popular in a, in a way we haven't yet seen in the UK. Now, there's different formats for the different games, and you can see on the screen there's a range of different titles that are, are classified as uh, as esports. Most of the most popular esports titles are actually um, team-based games. Some of them, some of the things like FIFA and some of the fighting games are one versus one, but some of the most popular esports titles like League of Legends, um, Overwatch, Dota 2. Um, Call of Duty, Rainbow Six, these are all team-based games. Here's an example of some of the arenas um, that um, the esports events happen in, and some of the numbers that you can see there are, are, are simply staggering. Um, this is League of Legends, one of the most popular games in the world. Um, this is Dota 2, and this is teams of five versus five. You can see the st on the stage down at the bottom, you can see where the, the teams are and the big screens here. There'll be shoutcasters, so commentators, um, commentating on, on the event, on the, on the games that are happening. There's the play-by-play -play commentators, and then there's the colour casters as well. Uh, think very much like traditional football, where you've got your main commentator followed by your analysts. The same thing happens at these live events to really bring the whole, um, the whole live event to, to life. Look at the prize pool here, $35 million for this one event. The winning team of five uh, in this won $11 million between the five of them. Huge sums of money in the professional, um, in the professional game. Um, in, in terms of the professional setup, the professional teams have exactly the same sort of level of support as traditional sports teams. You know, the nutritionists, the psychologists, the physical trainers. Um, the, at the professional level, it's a hugely, hugely serious industry very not your stereotypical gamers in your bedroom on your own drinking loads of red bull eating eating doritos or whatever it might be at the professional sense it is absolutely akin to traditional professional sport 